Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. I'm super excited. Um, now before we begin, really if you want, this is an interview. So if you want my review, in-depth review with the bonuses, I have a really cool custom done for you bo bonus package. All those things can be found below. Here we're going to more kind of, you know, get into some insider information, speak with the vendor, make it interesting, make it fun, make it light. This is what we're going to do. So about 20, 30 minutes of your time would be perfect okay so here with me is james sides okay he is a like super super old in this industry he knows his um his shit and he's really good at what he's doing and he's here to talk about penny clicks academy now as the name suggests it's about getting penny clicks but not just you know james um what's really interesting about this is that it's not just any penny clicks or penny clicks and penny likes that actually convert right it's the whole point is that they convert so uh james how are you introduce yourself and the product bro yeah I'm, hey i'm great thanks for having me first of all uh, i'm doing really good like you know i'm, I'm running on about two hours of sleep so <laughs> yeah uh, you know that's the traditional launch week um launch week stuff but yeah i'm doing great man and i appreciate mm -hmm. appreciate you having me here my pleasure, man. It's really my pleasure. I should be thanking you for coming. So, um, tell me about the product a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So, basically, with Penny Clicks, um, it's kind of a weird deal. We never had an intention. I never had an intention of doing a a Facebook product. I've been away mm -hmm. from this whole launching product thing for about four, four and a half years now. Uh, we've been running. I have, I have a business partner, Sam. We've been running our business uh, basically using paid traffic and doing some other things. And so we kind of got away from launching products. But um, a lot of what we do is we'll launch a product to internally to our subscribers. Mm -hmm. And we put together this little ebook. It started as an ebook. We called it Pity Likes 2016. Uh, our list went basically crazy over it. And we started getting testimonials from people that were like, hey, I'm getting these penny clicks. And we're like, well, you know, we should probably look a little deeper into this. So we put together an entire video course. It's, a, it's an entire membership area now. And before we got back into launching a product or doing any of the things that goes along with, you know, product launch, huh. I wanted to make sure that this was something that the average person could, could do. And I don't mean average, you know, intelligence wise. I just mean people that are not a full-time marketer. Maybe they hadn't done Facebook marketing before. Mm -hmm. So I sent an email out to my list. I said, hey, I'm looking for you know 10 people that we can put um, through this training. We want to make sure that it works for everybody. And we ended up getting a ton of replies. I tried a little down to 10. We ended up with 13 people. Um, and we put them through the training. And, I mean, from young to, you know, old, uh, I don't want that to sound rude, but from young people all the way up to, you know, elderly people, m men, women, uh, the, the whole gambit there, and mm. everybody was able to get results with it. In fact, um, I believe he's my oldest student. Um, he's a, a retired fella. He, was, he had never done Facebook marketing before. He went through this thing, and he, he actually beat me, right? I'm, I'm out here telling people, get penny clicks, get penny clicks. He was getting clicks for as little as four tenths of one cent, so he actually was getting, you know, Better. two clicks mm -hmm. for a penny. Um, so that was, it, it was truly exciting, and, and that was kind of the moment that you know Sam and I sat down and I said, you know what, we've got to put this together and get this out as an actual launch because to go through, and I've done case studies in the past with students, mm -hmm. and typically you'll have about half the students will actually do something, and maybe one or two of those students will get results yeah. um, just because that's the way marketing is. Marketing is tough. Business is, can be tough. And so to go through a case study group where we had pretty much every single person in that group was able to get results. Mm. And, you know, when people go look at, you know, they go look at the sales page when they get to that point, they'll see all of those different video testimonials from actual students. Those aren't like Fiverr yeah. gigs that we went and said, hey, we're going to give you money for a review. Um, I'm not here to judge people that do that, but we don't do that. Mm -hmm. These were all actual students that went through the training and it was just, uh, it honestly, I, I made a Facebook post about it. You know, and I told people like this, like reinvigorated my love for teaching because we had just been focused on our own business 
and it, for the most part got away from the teaching side of things. Um, yeah. So this was this is a lot of fun. I'm really just had a blast, you know, doing this with the case study students mm -hmm. and putting together the training and watching people over and over and over again go through this. Uh, we just had a student two days ago that sent me a Facebook message and said, hey, I'm on my third day of running ads and, you know, I just got my clicks down to 0.7 cents per. And I'm like, wow, this is just, you know, incredible. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, I'm 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 realistically probably more excited about this product than I've ever been about one of my products. That's great to hear. That's really great to hear this. This kind of excitement is uh, it. It shows on the product. It shows on the launch. It shows to the end customer in the end. It always somehow goes the energy flows. I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about that. But basically it shows you yeah. know, the end user feels that. So and, and you know, first off, what we really liked is that it's it's recent. It's something that works right now, right? You just had the student just just now tell you how much he's getting and uh, and I went through the method. I went extensively. It was really fun. It was really light. What I like about your style is that how you go ahead and it's really anyone, literally anyone can go ahead and copy you and get those results. They don't need to be special. They don't need to be um, no experience, literally, but even experienced people will find golden nuggets. This is really great, man. So good job on that. And, you know, um, about the penny clicks, are we talking here about what kind of budget do we need to get started until we see those clicks? Or what, what is the budget? You know, how much can a person expect? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So one of the things that I've, I've seen a lot over, you know, my career of doing this is a lot of people, um, they'll either fall into two categories, the person that has basically no money whatsoever and the person that has maybe a little too much money for their own good. And they'll want to jump in and, and throw big budgets at something right away. And in this case, even if you can afford to do that, we don't recommend that you go in and throw a big budget at it because Facebook is notorious for spending what you give it. Yeah. So if you go in there and say, you know what, I'm going to run $50 a day or $20 a day in advertising, Facebook will do a really good job of spending all of that money. Yeah. They probably won't do the best job at getting you the, you know, the best clicks. And so what we do with every campaign, and this isn't just what we teach, this is what we do in our own business as well, because we're practicing what we're preaching here, is we set everything to five dollars a day. Mm -hmm. So if we're involved in one niche, it's five bucks a day. If we want to do five niches, you know, then it might be twenty-five a day spread across those five. Yeah. What we found was we we started on one of our new pages that we started back in um, tail end of August. Uh, it's up to over forty-five thousand uh, fans now, actually. Mm -hmm. And what we found with that particular page, when we ran advertising, we were getting these really great clicks for a penny a click, and we thought. Hey, you know, we're getting this many clicks for five dollars. Let's do ten dollars. I I don't know why. I don't know, you know, nobody really knows why the Facebook algorithm works the way it does. Mm -hmm. We can all guess at it. But when we doubled our budget, our cost per click also doubled. So we were getting the same number of clicks for twice the money. So we dropped it mm -hmm. back down to five dollars a day and the the click cost went right back down. So mm -hmm. We just don't mess with what's working. It's five dollars <laughs> yeah. a day, period. But but okay, they can invest five dollars a day. Realistically, mm -hmm. when can they um, see when can they see their price per click basically reduced to uh, those areas? Is that a matter of weeks, months, days? That's a great question. So typically, we see the click costs start out kind of high, um, and some niches high being. 50 cents a click, some niches 25 cents a click, some niches 10 or 15 cents a click. But typically within about 72 hours to four days, and that ballpark is where we start seeing those things drastically drop. So for example, this this fellow that hit me up uh, two days ago, his first day he was paying like eight cents per, per, second day it dropped to four cents, and then the third day it was 0.7 cents. So it took literally three days to go from eight cents to less than a penny per click. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and um, okay, so we said basically that um, it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got confused. Something distracted me. It, it happens to me with the ADD. You know, it just yeah. happens. There's no, no way around it, even in interviews. Um, so 
we're talking here about really start even starting out at a at a reasonable cost per click and basically you said we're going to test a campaign for a few days and then we're going to see what happens and then what are you going to do decide if you kill if you uh basically you decide after a few days you have to let it run for a few days right yeah i mean basically the first the first you know 48 to 72 hours unfortunately it's one of those things that you've got to you've got to just oh, sit yeah, back and not touch it mm -hmm. one of the things that i do see sometimes with students especially intelligent students you know sometimes i think people they'll say you know I, i'm too dumb to make this work in my experience being dumb <laughs> is an asset in this business because smart people want to tweak everything yeah and definitely. so for example some of the the students we've had to kind of get on them and and kind of you know hold them back because after day one they wanted to tweak the budget and after day one they wanted to tweak the audience and every time you start changing things you basically reset that testing period mm -hmm. so you've got to just set it up sit back yeah. let it run for those 72 yeah, hours I agree and then say okay what's the data look like and then it might be a case of you know what let's try this different audience let's add this interest in there let's take this interest away maybe it's hey let's you know, tweak our demographic a little bit. Maybe it's, you know, skewed toward this particular age group or this particular part of the world. Um, but typically, if, if, you know, when we go through the training, one of the things we train on is the right niches versus the wrong niches. Because I do see a lot of people who fail with marketing and, and especially paid advertising is they're trying to go after the wrong niches. And, you know, there's some niches that regardless of what some people want you know, customers to believe they're very difficult to break into for a, a new marketer. Yeah. And so we teach people to stay away from that. Now, that being said, we don't go after weird, obscure niches like basket weaving or anything. <laughs> We're going after the big niches, the, the three niches that we went after. Number one, we went after survival, which is supposedly so hard, right? And we were getting two cent clicks in that. Um, we went after um, uh, one of the pet niches. I don't want to say w which one exactly, but it's one of the dog breeds we went after. Um, and that one, we're getting penny clicks. Again, super saturated, super hard niche. Yeah. No big deal. And the third one we went after was like a personal beliefs thing. Like a, it's not a religion, but it's a personal belief kind of thing that we're in. And again, it's supposed to be a hard niche. And it, we're not geniuses. And, and that's that's the one thing that, I don't have much of an ego these days. I've been doing it long enough to know the ego will get you in trouble. Yeah. I, I want I want everybody watching this, whether they get inside of Penny Clicks Academy or whether they don't, I, I want them to understand that one thing that took me a really long time to understand is it's not the person that makes a method work or a strategy work. It's the process. And so whether you're a you know sixty five year old or seventy five year old retired person or whether you're an 18-year-old kid that just got out of high school, yeah. doesn't matter. If you do the exact same thing, you'll get the exact same result. And that's one of the great things about internet marketing and with paid advertising is it doesn't care who you are or where you are or where you came from. It's 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 you know there's a there's a saying that it's not the doer but the deed that gets rewarded, and it's it's so true with paid advertising. It's just the process. If you you know, if you go through the process, you'll get the same result. Mm -hmm. And I think that in some cases, that's different. You know, if you're talking about me releasing a digital product, my result could be different from another person's result based on my reputation and based on, you know, years of connections and all yeah. this kind of stuff. With Facebook advertising, if I set up a, a page today for cats and you set up a page for cats and somebody over here sets up a page for cats and we run the same ad to the same audience. You know, we're going to get yeah. the same result. Yeah. And that's the that's the uh, probably the most beautiful thing about this whole Facebook advertising thing Anyone is Anyone can do it. You don't have to be you don't have yeah. to be an expert. You can be anybody and Definitely. get the result. That's that's what I also li loved about your method. It's a simple process that when you nail it down, it anyone can do it. Like you said, it's really really simple. I mean, I was going through the videos and I expected something deep, scientific, you know, something really no, you follow it and you understand it's so easy to consume and literally I felt like I can go ahead if I wasn't busy with something I can go ahead and right now I can go ahead and get those 
uh, penny clicks. It was so it's a, it's so simple that it's also at the same time inspiring. You know, you want to take action. Sometimes when products are too complicated or too deep, you, you it's just hard to go ahead and take action. You're all over the place, and it's really simple, really great product, really okay. And that is why I, I decided to make those, that done for you package, which I'm making. Uh, I haven't told you that I haven't but the audience should know basically I'm preparing a done for you package um, it's a done for you uh, ad template and done for you audiences all those things I will build using your method okay n n no one I will get a little bit of my experience inside but basically using your method and I love it yeah you know it, it's so it's so fun to making this done for you package and you know really great great product great product i great product okay did i say great product <laughs> <laughs> you can say you can say it one more time if you want great product this one's <laughs> next one's um is not going to be for free so uh you're gonna have to pay me a commission for that yeah <laughs> so just um, just five bucks yeah just five bucks um and Okay, so we nailed down. We know this process is simple. We know this product. Um, I know it works. I saw the proof. I saw the results. I saw the method. It's so good. Now, I want to talk about um, what people are getting inside once they purchase, right? And what is the price? Yeah, absolutely. So inside, we've actually got a members area set up. Uh, we set it up using ClickFunnels. It's a very professional uh, members area, you know, all the yeah. video training is inside of there. Right now, there's probably about, I, I don't know exactly, but I'd say about 90 minutes of content. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we wanted to do is keep this thing actionable so that somebody could sit down, they get off work at, you know, maybe six o'clock in the evening, they can sit down and by eight o'clock, they're ready. They get they got their ad up, they got everything ready to go. So the next morning, they can wake up to results um, so all that's inside the members area there. And one of the things that we do with our products, and we've always done this, is we like feedback. Some some people will get feedback and they feel like if somebody says, Oh, well, I think you should have done this or I think you should have shot this video, yeah, they get they'll get offended off. like, No, oh, my product is the best. Listen, if somebody says to me, James, it's crazy, could you yeah. do a video on XYZ? I'm like, if there's my alarm's going off. Sorry about that. Uh, if there's one person that reaches out, there's yeah. probably a hundred people that are thinking it and just not saying it. So, you know, we will Definitely. add content based on user feedback. We always do that. It just helps us to make a better product. Um, and we do um, absolutely like with this product, when this launch is over, we will take this and start running paid traffic to it and start, you know, doing other things with it. And the price will be much higher. Yeah. Um, so we want to make it, you know, better and better and better. But the launch price, the price that your people are going to be interested in. Uh, so we're doing an early bird special and forgive me because I'm blanking out on the exact price. I think it's, I know what I think it is. It's you want me to tell them? Yeah. Tell them what it is. Cause I don't even yeah. know. So it's about 26 bucks on the 25, okay. 26 bucks on the earlier price. Uh, something 0.95. So either 24.95, 25.95. I can't quite remember for a few hours then it's going to be uh 27 and then it's going to be increases actually you know what forget that there'll be below this interview below on the page there'll be the exact times of the you know of the price increases and everything so people will know but the price awesome. is around 25 bucks early bird that is right low that is it low. is it's it's really low even for an information product it's it's it is it's a steal because it's so actionable um, and we're talking here about 25 to around, okay, great. And um, for how long can people expect to, you know, have the opportunity, the window of opportunity to buy this at, at those, at that price? So typically, uh, what I do, I'll, and I'll just let your audience know in case they don't know who I am, cause the internet's a huge place and they probably never heard of me before. Mm -hmm. Um, typically what I do with my products, about 75% of my business is webinars. So I'll take a product like this and I'll go put it on a webinar. And the difference in selling this product on a webinar mm -hmm. versus selling it on a launch is on a launch, you know, they can get in this early bird at 25, 26 bucks, whatever it is. Uh, whereas on a webinar, this is going to be a 297 or a 497, meaning 297 or a $497 yeah. product. 
And for the people that are like, no, yes. When you do a webinar, you don't do a webinar for $27. Yeah, you sell course. the product for two ninety seven. dollars Four ninety seven, etc. Yeah. So yes, um, after the launch, we will probably put this on a webinar, and it'll probably be several hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But for seventy two hours, because the launch is a, a seventy two hour launch, they'll be able to get it. It starts out around twenty five, twenty six bucks, and I think it caps at I think it caps at thirty seven bucks. Yeah. If I remember right. Um, yeah. And for those of you that are watching, going, this guy doesn't even know his own prices, guys. I'm the product creator. That's is, what I do. I create products. I create funnels. And then I hand it to somebody else that sets up all the little detailed stuff because yeah. I'm the guy that, oh, look, a squirrel. Hey. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll bump that thing up to probably two. We'll probably do 297. We may stretch it and test 497. But I think 297 is we'll, where we'll end up kind of settling at. Yeah. And the great, the great thing about it is, is like with all my products, you know, I'm not that guy that if somebody buys something and they're, they just hate it that I'm like, oh, well, I've got your 25 bucks, yeah. you know? I mean, we always offer guarantees on everything we do. Um, you know, there's always that small, tiny percentage of people that are just fraudsters that buy a product and then instantly want to refund, and, yeah, you know, that's between course. them and their conscience, whatever. But typically what I see with people is people are good, and they'll buy the product, and they'll go through it, and yeah. then they'll make a decision. And I know that once people go through this, if they'll just put it into action – I know they'll get results and I'm not at all concerned about it. I also think it. so. Yeah, I also think so. I definitely think so. Um, and I want to touch that thing you said about the feedback, because if you notice something, I'm, I don't have this, uh, this work ethic, but many people do, especially on the JVZoo slash Warrior Plus space, is that people uh, blame customers too much, in my opinion. You feel that. All the time, people say blacklist, black full lists of blacklist. You know, people who just requested the refund, and you are attacking them for what? These are customers. Things happen. Maybe, maybe something bad happened. You know, listen to them. Listen to the feedback. I remember I sent one guy uh, a feedback about their software, and it was a big launch, right? It was a big, big launch in JVZoo, and I told them uh, that I found not only I found a few bugs that are annoying, but just this one feature that if, if if he would add it would be spectacular it would be a great much greater software and he attacked me and he then he <coughs> went ahead and he said he'll if, if uh because he know he knew my name because i'm gonna fill it in the space he said he'll post my name you know on facebook if i'll keep on you know what's going on i mean i just gave you a suggestion and then <laughs> at that moment i realized that when people go ahead and post about customers just there's a sense of People blaming customers. I don't know why. Oh, there is. There is. And you know, I, I don't know. I don't know why that exists either. And it's existed for a really long time. I remember back in uh, 2011, 2012, when I was really heavily involved with the launches and, and, you know, doing a lot. I think I did about a dozen products in like mm -hmm. a 12-month period. I saw a lot of it back then. And, you know, there were private Facebook groups of vendors and affiliates where they would like to, you know, post conversations with customers. And it was like this big ha ha. And I'm, I remember one day saying like, this isn't funny. This is sad. Yeah. You know, because like these people, and, and I think maybe I look at it differently. Cause I, like, I remember not to get like on a big emotional story, but I remember as a kid growing up watching my dad work a factory job that he hated. He had two college degrees but they're in law enforcement and teaching, neither one paid. So he had to work at a factory. And he was the guy that in the 80s and 90s would order the infomercial VHS tapes and try to do something. And I remember that. So, yeah, we're not doing VHS tapes anymore. But like I, I think, you know, the people buying my products, they're probably like my dad when I was a kid, you know, like when I was a teenager. And they're like going to a job that they hate. And I remember being, man – I had this job, the last job that I had, I hated it. I mean, grown man, getting in the shower in the morning and almost on the verge of tears, I hated this job so much. But I had to do it because that's how I supported my family. Yeah. And I bought product after product. You know, I was not, you know, an overnight success. It was, I got started in 2003. Yeah. And I didn't have become a full-time marketer until 2011. And I made an attempt to become full-time in 2010. I quit my job. I went at it hard. And I failed. I almost lost my house over it. So it took me eight years 
And in eight years, I bought 100, 200, 500 products. I don't know, you know, but I remember going through those products and I remember, you know, thinking either I am just the world's stupidest guy (laughs) because I can't make any of this stuff work or these products don't work or there's there's a some some kind of disconnect there and I don't think the products were all bad I'm not saying that I do think you know part of it was me just not sticking to it and yeah, and not implementing things you know I mean I've got to take responsibility for that but at the same time you know most of the time if you if I reached out to somebody if it's just silence no response yeah. and I'm I'm not saying that you know I expected free coaching cuz you know time is valuable but I mean, sometimes you put in a support ticket and it was just like, yeah. you know, nowhere to be found, you know? Yeah. So yeah, we, we take our customers pretty seriously and I'm really happy, you know, we're not that. perfect. You know, I'm not, I'm not pretending that we're perfect. I'm sure we've made mistakes before and it's been a learning experience. I, I know when I first started launching products, I, I used to take feedback maybe a little too personally. Like it was my baby. I put my heart and soul I into this thing. And too. so when yes. somebody said something, I felt like maybe they were, you know, attacking my child. Um, but I think that just comes with, you know, maybe experience and, you know, launching products and having, you know, a lot of customers, you eventually realize that a customer who gives you feedback is a golden asset because most customers who are not happy won't tell you, they'll just tell their friends that they're not happy. Yeah. You know, I'd rather them come tell me, Hey, I'm not happy. If you do this, I would be so that I can make things right versus, you know, them talking behind my back about how, I put out terrible products, <laughs> you know, and I, and I've, I Google myself once in a while cause I, maybe I'm, you know, paranoid or maybe I don't know, maybe I do have an ego, but, um, so far so good. I don't have any negative reviews on Google after doing this for years and years. So try to good. try to, you know, keep that up. Yeah. Um, so for, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. I'm really, I really think this part of the conversation of the interview is kind of, something that people don't the customers don't see um when this is information that c- vendors reserve only to other vendors and affiliate this is something the customer usually don't see uh, people talking customers usually feel really um kind of left behind kind of uh, um yeah they don't they don't really hear that stuff so it's good to hear first off you're showing that you're re- you're serious about this and you're obviously a real person and you really care about the customers and two it's really good for me to promote a product that i know that you're going to be behind and really uh take care of my customers because after all this i i don't have an unlimited supply of leads that i can just smash every time i have to build relationships and if i promote a product it needs to be a good product it needs to be a really good product and this is a really good product now you owe me a commission <laughs> i owe you commission <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, and before we, we finish this, I want to talk about the uh, upgrades and what the prices are, okay? Sure, sure. So there's um, one of the things that I do on all of my funnels and things like that is I'm a big believer in offering upgrades, but offering upgrades that are not required exactly. to complete oh, the method. You nailed it. You nailed it. The whole point is to be recommended and not a must. And some funnels are right. just funnels from, from hell. It's crazy. Absolutely. You know, my I don't ever want a customer to buy a product on a you know front end and then get to the OTO and be like, well, if I don't buy this, it's not going to work. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that's – you might get a few dollars out of that person, but they're they're walking away very unhappy. Yeah. Um, I prefer, you know, lifetime value over, you know, today value. So we have three upgrades, which is more than we normally do, but they just fit so well with – with everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. So the first upgrade is actually, uh, we call it Done For You Academy. And this is probably, no, I know it's the only time I've ever done anything like this. I was thinking in my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we did was we actually went out and we tested 10 different niches. And we did that, here's the crazy part of this. We didn't test them personally. We had students who oh. had never done Facebook ads actually test these niches. Now, we told them up front that we would be releasing them as case studies. Mm. The benefit they got is they got us looking over their shoulder, making sure they were doing everything right, et cetera. So they got to learn, basically. Yeah. Um, but these students are the ones that tested these niches. And the reason that's important is because, again, 
They didn't have experience and they were able to make these work. So we've got those 10 niches with the ads that we used, well, the ads they used. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, everything is basically, it's tell all, it's all right there where they can take that information and they can go basically copy it, you know, copy the ads, copy the copy, all that stuff and be set up and running. So if there's people awesome. that don't want to worry about picking a niche. They don't want to stress about, hey, I don't want to even create my own ad. That's package is definitely for them. And then we also have three case studies in there of our own niches where we actually go in and show people actual campaigns that we ran um, so that they can copy those as well. So again, not required, but definitely a huge shortcut. And uh, I, I believe that's a $67 upgrade. So it's ultra cheap. It ends up being like yeah. six bucks, you know, per, Done per niche you. there. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty it's crazy good. cheap. Um, the second upgrade we have is actually a software bundle. Uh, one of the, one of my main business models is actually software. I've um, been doing that for about five years, and we have two pieces of software that go hand in hand. One of them is called Social Ad Suite Pro. Uh, Social Ad Suite Pro is probably my favorite tool that I've ever developed. It actually allows anybody, um, specifically people like me, with no design skill to create really good looking Facebook ads. One of the things I used to struggle with was creating an ad that actually looked good. Um, and it's not about being able to draw, because you're not drawing with Facebook ads, but just about having that kind of creative side to put the ad together, I don't have that. Mm -hmm. And so Social Ad Suite Pro fixed that. I hired a professional designer. There's literally over 600 marketing graphics in there, and there's over 300 templates. So they can pull up a template. They can make a few different changes to it if they want to. They don't have to. They make, you know, change out backgrounds, change out images, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And 60 seconds later, it spits out an ad. The great thing about Social Ad Suite Pro is it runs locally on their machine. So I know a lot of people like web-based, web-based, web-based. When you get into graphically intense programs, web-based, it tends to have that slow, hanging, loading, you know, yeah. I'm impatient. I want my stuff instantly. Mm-hmm. So because it runs locally on their machine, runs on both Mac and, and PC, great. Um, it's all super, super fast. And Social Pixel Suites, Social Pixel Suites, <laughs> mouthful, um, is a software that I created because for a couple of years, um, I was actually doing Facebook advertising, but not doing custom audiences and pixels wow. and retargeting because it was confusing. And I'm a guy that likes to take the path of least resistance. So I just kind of ignored it. And then one day I realized, man, I'm leaving a lot of money yeah, on the table. Definitely. So I created a social pixel suite, which makes the whole uh, pixel stuff real easy. Basically, Instead of having to hack at the code and the different custom events and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. If you're watching this and you're confused by what I'm saying, don't worry. That's what Social Pixel Suite is for. But it allows them to basically click some buttons and it spits out the code that they need to put on their web pages. So that's what that is. Um, that bundle is also $67. And again, they get both software products. Um, for anybody that's worried about software support, because I do know that there's a big problem in our industry with people not supporting software a month after the launch. Uh, my developer is actually full time. He's been with me for about three and a half years. So mm-hmm. it's not a freelancer that we hired like on uh, Upwork or something that, you know, next month we won't be able to contact them if we need to do an update. Um, we, we support all of our software. So Great to hear. Um, no worries there. And the uh, third upgrade How is much actually does it cost, the bundle? It's sixty seven dollars for the bundle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and great. Social Pixel Suite, we've never released before. Um, mm-hmm. We had planned on launching it, you know, for probably 27 bucks by itself. And then we said, you know what, let's just give it away for free. Uh, because Social Ad Suite Pro, actually, we sell it on the website for 97 mm-hmm. bucks. So they're getting Social Ad Suite Pro for 67 and we're giving them Social Pixel Suite basically free as a bonus. Mm-hmm. So that's how that works. Great. Um, and then the final, the final upgrade, which is the one that I'm most excited about, again, it's not required, but we're doing a, a private coaching, basically. Mm-hmm. And normally for coaching, you know, you're going to pay uh, somebody thousands of dollars for coaching. It's just the, the going rate these days is about $1,000 a month for most coaches. And instead, what we, what we were doing is putting everybody into a private Facebook group. This isn't like one of those Facebook groups where you go in there and nobody's there and you put a comment <laughs> and nobody answers it yeah. for a week. Uh, this is something that we are in every single day. It's how we ran the case studies, and it was absolutely amazing Mm -hmm. um so we're doing that with the launch now is we're actually doing a private group where people can join and get that same one-on-one interaction 
And mm -hmm. I, again, I have a business partner, Sam, and Sam runs like all of our Facebook advertising. Um, that's one of the things that he handles in our partnership is all of our paid advertising. Sam runs it. I understand it. We talk about it. We get on the phone every week, but he's the guy that does the day to day. So in the Facebook group, you don't, you not only get access to me, but you also get access to Sam and he's the guy that runs, I mean, tens of thousands of dollars, um, in Facebook advertising for our companies. Great. And, oh, and that one, that one's 97 bucks. I forgot the price. Uh, it's only $97. You know, yeah. so we're not doing it's a thousand. Totally it's not ninety-seven a month, just one time ninety-seven dollars. It's totally worth it. I think the mastermind is great. Mastermind, uh, did I say it right? Right? Mastermind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yep. Uh, because I just paid. Uh, beginning of October, I got a coach for e-commerce, and I paid him five figures. Right? It's it's well worth it. Okay, I'm not complaining. I'm right. just saying I paid five figures in dollars in U.S. dollars. And now you're coming and you're saying, hey, I'm going to basically oh, th this coaching offer for this price is a steal, right? And it's not one of those abandoned groups that's really going to be active. I love it. I love the funnel. And I'm just sitting here. You know, I'll be honest. I'm sitting here and I am in love from the beginning of the interview. I already went through the product. I already checked everything. And um, I'm just sitting here and I'm listening to you talk. And I already know... Uh, it's good and you're basically talking to the audience and i'm sitting around i'm like yes tell, tell the next upgrade tell the next in my face tell them <laughs> tell them yo i need them to hear about the third one i just really excited really good product. yeah absolutely i would buy it i mean i have review access but i would buy it i would happily buy this is something i would be happy with the purchase and just you know i really really good product okay Really good you can product. buy it if you want. It's okay. You can buy it. No, you know. no, no, thank you. I, I, I mean, I already no. have access. Um, you owe me. Did you forget? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You yeah. Owe me. Um, great. So it's been a really fun interview. We did. I didn't plan it uh, for it to be so long. It's it's a it's a, it's really long interview so far. But you know, I I guess we kind of winged it. It was fun. Um, yeah, it was definitely fun. So once again final words is there anything is there any piece of advice you want to tell people that whether or not they purchase it they can benefit from about this subject yeah absolutely you know i, I mean i again I, and i kind of mentioned it earlier it, it's important to trust the process so whether it's my process that you're following or whether you find another person that you trust that you want to follow their process you know just remember it is a process and so if something if you're following a process to the t and it's not working it's not you it's not you know you're not good enough it's it's just simply the you know the process either the process itself is broken or your niche or something you're doing is off most of the time and i've coached you know a lot of people over the years most of the time what people do is they take a, a process and they think they're smarter and, and they will tweak something and then it doesn't work and they're like, oh, this process doesn't work. And it's really, it's just them tweaking it. And a lot of times, you know, it, I, I think the best examples I can think of is back in 2009, 2010, I did have some success with what they called ugly sites. Mm -hmm. And there are these butt ugly sites that had these ugly, ugly green backgrounds. And you would basically build them really quickly and then put AdSense ads on them. And I remember seeing them and thinking, those sites are hideous. If I just make them prettier, I'll make more money. Yeah. And I built like over 100 websites and they're like all just failing miserably. And I was like, I don't get this. And then one of my friends was like, dude, they're no, they're supposed to be ugly. And I'm like, no, I don't want them to be ugly. <laughs> He's like, James, they're ugly. So people want to click the ad to get off of them. And I'm like, oh, so I started changing them to ugly. I didn't become a millionaire overnight, yeah. but I did. Suddenly, some of the sites did start making money. Some of them were making like 100, 150 bucks a month, which at the time was yeah. a home run for me. And it was all because I tweaked the process that was working and I broke it. Yeah. So that's the best piece of advice I can give advice. people is don't tweak the process. And I've had coaching students who have hired me for $10,000 because that's what I charge for a year long coaching, mm -hmm. like one-on-one -on -one coaching. And they'll hire me for 10 grand and we'll get on the phone calls and I'll tell them everything. 
And then the next week I'll get on the phone and I'll be like, okay, how did things go? Well, I did this, this, and this, and I, it didn't work. And I'm like, wait, that's not what we talked about. Oh, I know, but I thought if I did this, and I'm like, no, you, you paid me so I can show you what to don't don't tweak it. Just, yeah. just do what I'm telling you. It's a common um, mistake. You know, and with one on one coaching, you can fix it because you can kind of say, hey, you know, don't do that. Yeah. And then you can kind of steer them back. But with a product, with a membership or anything else, there's not going to be somebody there that's going to steer you back. So if you start tweaking stuff, you're going to break it and it's yeah. not going to work and it's going to be bad. Unless, of course, they join the mastermind and then I'll slap them on the wrist yeah. when I need to. You know? But yeah, that's the biggest thing, man. It's just, you know, trust the process, whether it's this process, it's whether it's somebody else's, just follow it. And then once you start getting results, you can start tweaking things and see what happens. But until it's working, you know, you don't know what you can, what you should and shouldn't be tweaking. Yeah, definitely. Good advice. Really good advice. It's also relevant to me right now. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to tell why I, I just, I'm too tired for that, but yeah, it's good advice. It's really good <laughs> advice. It's very true. And it just shows that you know what you're talking about. And awesome. I guess that is the end of this interview. Uh, if anyone who's watch is still watching this, because by now there must be one cricket uh, watching this, <laughs> you know, uh, for so long. But if anyone's still watching this, uh, check out the review. I got. I walk you through whatever I can walk you through. Uh, since it's not a software, I cannot go too deep into the product. But Check out the review, check out my bonuses, check out, you know, my overview, everything, my opinion about everything. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this. James, thank you for coming. I really hope you enjoyed being here. Uh, and oh, I, I did. Yes, great. <laughs> I'm yeah, I did, man. I appreciate you having me. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's always fun. I love doing interviews with people and, you know, I have never done one before. So I had a blast and, you know, I get to, I get to meet your audience. So yeah. hopefully... Uh, Hopefully they like me. I talk a lot. You know, that's it's why good. this is probably your longest interview ever. They, this is the best. This is definitely the best uh, interview I think I had in terms of feeling. Let's see how it, how it translates to the audience, if they re they'll respond, if they'll like it. Um, but so far, I've, I've had a blast. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. It's been, uh, you know, an honor as well. Okay, awesome, cool. Man. So um, this interview is over. Bye. <laughs>